Hello, today I want to show you how to flash your Titan Z using my BIOS. Uh, first things first, of course, this is not my responsibility. It's on your own what you do with your card. And of course you can break your card while doing this. So you see, it's running the default BIOS. It's running at a seven, 706 megahertz. And let's see how the boost behaves under 3D. Clocks down pretty fast because the card has such a high TDP. So we see it starts at about 900 megahertz boost, but it comes down really quick and now it's sitting at 706 megahertz. And that's the normal behavior for a Titan Z. Of course, if you're running water cooling, you will have higher, higher clocks but you're running um, at the wattage limit. So my BIOS will take care of these issues. If you download the file, it will look like this and you have to open it. So now this is what you see, this is the stock BIOS. So if you do anything wrong, you come, can flash this back. And here's also the PLX BIOS. I will show you what this means in a little bit. Here are the three BIOSes I made. The one, this one uh, maxes out at 1.05 volts. This one at 1.15 volts. And this one at the maximum voltage of 1.212 volts. You only should use this under water cooling. And this also. So the first thing you have to do is open your C drive. And you make a folder called NV Flash and put these files in there and the BIOS you want to flash. So for now, I'll take the 1.05 volts BIOS and just put it over here. You see, I always have the default BIOS in this folder. In a bit you will see why. So now we have to restart and start in safe mode. So all drivers are disabled. And you really need to do this. It won't work while the card is running with drivers. So you have to press F8 starting your computer and then you can run in safe mode. So now we started up in safe mode and 
first thing we will do is search for CMD and run it as an administrator. Let me change the resolution so we can see it better. So the first first thing we have to do is change the folder. We do that while, by typing cd c double dot slash nv flash. Now we're in the nv flash folder. We can now look which GPUs are installed by typing nv flash 64 and minus minus list. Now you see at index zero, there's the PLX chip and index one and two are the two GPUs. So always, always use the index pointer. If you don't use it, it will flash the BIOS on the PLX chip and your card is definitely bricked. So let's try it. You need to, of course, type in NV flash 64 minus I for index and now the one for the first GPU. Now we need minus six that tells uh, the program to flash it and now we just type in the name of the BIOS we want to flash and that's one mod dot ROM. Now it will show the current BIOS and the new BIOS. These numbers have to be the same. If they're not, you're doing something wrong and you should definitely abort this whole thing. Let's start flashing. Now don't get too excited because you have to flash the second GPU or you will really run into issues. Let's do that. So NV flash 64 minus index 2 minus 6 for turning the program to flash and 2 mod dot ROM. Again, we look at the numbers, we see they're the same, and start flashing. So that's it. Now the card is flashed. You need to restart the computer. And now we can normally boot into Windows. If you've done something wrong and maybe flash the PLX chip, you will need to have another graphics card, put it in the computer and then reflash the PLX BIOS that are included in the folder. So now let's have a look at GPU Z. And you see now GPU Z shows a default clock of one gigahertz and also a boost of one gigahertz. That's because the card is always clocking at one gigahertz unless the card gets too hot then it will clock down itself and we can have a sh short look at 
how the voltage is sitting. So this is the render test. And we see if the voltage is sitting at 1.06 volts. That's because the volts are always a little bit fluctuating and it can be a little bit higher or a little bit lower than 1.05 volts. Now let's have a look how it behaves in Heaven Benchmark. I can already up the clock 100 megahertz. So let's change the resolution. The card needs about 20 seconds to reach the maximum boost you typed in. So you see now it's sitting at around 1.05 gigahertz. And now it's sitting at 1.1 gigahertz. and it will not leave the state as long as it's in the thermal limits. You can change the thermal limits in your MSI afterburner. So like you see, 1.1 gigahertz, 1.05 volts, and the TDP will never max out. You see it's just sitting at 74%. And that's about it. And now have fun overclocking your card. Always be careful, be safe, bye.